right guys, this is the big day. It's time to have this car road legal again. I have all the documentations with me here and hopefully everything will work out just fine. So here we go guys. Closing into the nearest village here. I have around 20 kilometers to this place, and uh, it's also here where I used to test my uh, uh, DC charging to this car. So, from my house to that uh, facility that we will do the test here of the registration of this car, it's around uh, 60 kilometers, so it's uh, pretty far for uh, a first ride. <laughs> But I have my uh, towing line with me, if uh, there will be any problem. You can never be too sure, I mean, especially this clutch between the motor and the gearbox there. Uh, it's <laughs> very homemade, <laughs> let's leave it like that. I guess that you have seen my earlier videos when I created those stuff, so um, we have to see how long that will hold up, because we don't even have this uh, we are not just having this uh, Loctite that I was using there, but there will also be always some vibrations to those stuff. And uh, I guess that uh, in the long term there, I think that the axle to the motor or from the motor tends to break if, the, if we have any unbalance in the flywheel there. And I have felt a slight, slight uh, unbalance uh, un unbalance in the, in that flywheel so uh, when everything of this is done i will uh, take down the gearbox and uh, remove as much mass as possible from the flywheel and um, and have it uh, rebalanced there sorry i am trying to follow the traffic here also so uh, that's the plan i will also change the clutch there to a much uh, uh, beefier one because uh, when I am at around 60 kilowatt of power uh, I can feel that it is starting to slip there so it's a pretty high torque in this motor ah, it's not so high torque but I have a very small clutch <laughs> that's the problem so we are now just waiting here for a traffic light to be green and um, catch you later <laughs> I just have to take this. It was so sad that I just turned off the camera because the, there was a guy right here and uh, knocked on my window here and uh, told me that hey there's a broccoli in your exhaust pipe. Well uh, this is an electric car I told him and well who could know that? He was pretty sad about that and just turned away and walked back again. <laughs> oh so crazy. I maybe have to remove that because uh, they maybe think that uh, somebody is kidding with me and uh, just want to be kind and warm me, of course. But that was uh, it was pretty sh strange that he was so uh, upset that uh, he didn't know that this was an electric car. I mean, of course he couldn't know that. It's time to turn off the highway here and we only have a couple of minutes before we are at this uh, vehicle testing building. So it has been a lot of traffic and I maybe just have a few minutes to spare.
All right, guys, the car is road legal and I am so happy. Look here, clean papers, not even a single remark there. So <laughs> this is just wonderful. I don't think that you can understand the feeling here. So many hours and now it's a road legal. It's, it's strange. And one thing that actually surprised me more than anything else was the, that the weight ratio. I mean, it was exactly 50-50 on the front and the rear axle there. So that is just amazing. And I mean, when I have test drived it, I, have, I felt that the car is laying really good on the road there. But I mean, 50-50 on a homemade electric car? That's pretty darn good, I have to say. So, uh, well... I am super happy, of course. So we are now close to my home again, and uh, that's a great feeling. So it has been a pretty long trip. The longest <laughs> with this setup anyway. So uh, I have now a state of charge at uh, a little under 19%, and that's according to the 24 kilowatt hour BMS there that I have. But as you know, I have 55 kilowatt hours in my battery, so that is not completely correct so home sweet home So there we have it, uh, it's now road legal again and uh, that's just a fantastic feeling. So uh, well it was uh, sad that I couldn't uh, film anything uh, inside of that uh, facility there but it is what it is. I, it was okay to do some filming but uh, I could never film their faces or uh, anything of them at all so it was pretty hard so that's why you will of course have some uh, specifications down in the description there and by the way they also approved the rims the springs and uh, the rest of the smaller changes that i had done to this car so they were not just looking at the motor there they were looking at the which uh, inverter and which uh, charger and the which uh, uh, controller that i used for it and uh, uh, of course the batteries it was a lot of things that they did check there and that's great because then i know that everything is uh, in order so uh, yeah a really great feeling take a look at the specs down in the description and uh, thank you so much for watching and I will keep you posted with more tests now and we can do some range tests and uh, other stuff of course. Take care guys and thank you so much for watching.